G'day folks. Well, it's time for another segment on heat pumps and chillers. Uh, they've given me permission to film at work today, so I can uh, show you some of these units. These are uh, carrier built units. Roughly three and a half tons. Uh, they're all a packaged refrigeration system. Obviously it's just water going into and out of the, out of the unit. Water in and out. Two units running together. This one's obviously not running because it's so cold out here. Uh, but this is for an extrusion moulding machine which I'll show you in a sec. It's a bit noisy in there so I don't know how much you'll hear. Obviously three phase power. But these work the same way. These are your, obviously your condensing coils and your evaporators are inside the chiller drum which is a plastic and titanium composite about to rain out here, so let's get inside. And here's where the water comes in. That must be an oil cooler for the machine. Yeah, hydraulic. That's where the water changes heat with the material coming out of the extruder. Machines made by John's Hydraulics Australia. The vacuum loader. Big TC motor. just a reload material which is being fed into the barrel and wound down by the screw. Mainly friction, friction heat which uh, may melt the material. Molding process as well. We're using a uh, soft PVC. Can't tell you what grade it is or what we're making. This unit's online and this other one just came online. But the temperature's gone above 8 so it'll start running both. See the coil damage from years of corrosion. The exposed copper pipes you can see in the coil. This one's no better at the bottom. <laughs> 